Good day, my little robins. It's me, Beth. Another week has passed, which means you get another video from well, me here on this channel. If you haven't already read the title, yes, I am back reacting to Camelot. Today, I am reacting to Sacrimony, Angel of Afterlife, featuring Alyssa from Arch Enemy and Elise from Amaranth. This is one of my favourite songs off the Silver Fawn album. I have seen this performed live when I saw these guys tour, I believe, last year but it was with like Lauren Hart from like One Human and like Clementine from Visions of Atlantis. I love Alyssa, I love Elise, I love Tommy, I love Camelot. Like I've already said, this is a live performance, which I believe will be coming out on DVD soon, which is why they're doing snippets on the internet. Before we begin, if you want to support me in the channel in the future, you can by clicking like to show me some love. You can click subscribe and tap that bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. Enough rambling, let's just dive straight into Camelot. Let's press play. Oh, yeah. 
Okay. okay, so that was Camelot, Sacrimony, Angel of Afterlife live and oh, what I wouldn't have paid to be at that gig, you know, to see the original lineup for, of this, perform this song, like, ah, oh, it was good. To clarify, when you saw me potentially like looking off like through the window, I thought it had begun to rain. Turns out it was just seagulls on the roof because those seagulls are so annoying. They wait until I film, you know, to start chittering, chittering, walking along the roof. So it wasn't rain, it was just seagulls. Yeah, back to Camelot back to Sacramento Angel of Afterlife. As I already said, what I wouldn't have paid to be at this gig to see the original lineup because you this was Silver Form was Tommy's debut album with Camelot. And then you had like Alyssa was on it and Elise was on it. And it's probably my most played song off the album because I ju there's just something about those three voices, you know, those three strong like vocalists coming together. And I'm so happy that, you know, the live version they released were with the original two girls. Because like I already said in the intro, I saw this when they, they had Lauren Hart from Once Human and Clementine from Visions of Atlantis. And they were great. But this was, well, this was like the cherry on top. This was, yeah, can I just say, Tommy. I don't know if his voice gets better performance to performance or maybe the way this the sound was mixed but he was clear he was on point and I feel for me that every time I like watch a Camelot live video with Tommy that he seems to get better and better with each live performance and he was great when I saw him but this was like oh this was on like a whole other level he was just so like passionate he's not not that he's not passionate but like he was more like passionate he was like more in the moment he seemed like a lot more relaxed because i think it's like at this point mate you know that people like your voice they like camelot you guys can put on a show and your tickets will probably sell out really darn fast you know not enough talking about tommy and how amazing he is you know elise melissa they are goddesses with their voices, but the band, the band cannot be overlooked. These are one of the best live bands, like when it comes to performance, if I am being completely honest, that I have seen. You know, they just make, the like the drums, the guitar, the keyboard, they just make it so effortless. They're not even like straining themselves. They're like, we can just go on stage and we can do this. And we know we are good. Yeah really don't know what else you want me to say about this reaction. Recently on the channel I've been doing more, I've been getting into more live reactions because some of you guys that's what you want to see more of over music videos. So Camelot live. I will be buying the DVD because I love Camelot and I kind of want it on my shelf because it'll look nice and then I can watch it so I can like re-watch Camelot over and over and over and over again. Yeah, the audience, they were enjoying themselves, I liked the interaction, they got them to like, like fist pump and like chant. That's like a winner winner chicken dinner in my eyes. If I had to give Sacrimony Angel of Afterlife Alive by Camelot a rating out of 10, guys, it is getting a 9 out of 10. 9 is fine here on the channel, no hate in the comments. It, I praised it, yes, but it wasn't perfect it wasn't all the pieces were there and they did come together like to form like a nice jigsaw like a nice sandwich that's what I'm going with I'm going with a sandwich analogy I'm really hungry while filming this but yeah there was just something missing and I might you know if they release more clips from this show I might react to more in the future if that's what you want me to see or if you want to see me react to any other Camelot songs, live performances, like that they've done in the past, you know, the comments, show me like a version that's going to make me go, you know what, these guys deserve a 10, but 9 is not bad, 9 is fine. In the comments below, I'd love to know your guys' thoughts and opinions on the song, the video, the band. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Sound off, everybody is entitled to their own opinion here on this channel, and trust me, some of you guys are very opinionated. You know, I'm going to wrap this up before I continue to ramble. If you want to support me and the channel in the future, you can by clicking like to show me some love. You can click subscribe and tap that bell to be notified of when I upload on this channel. At the end of this video, you can check out my last two videos or playlists, depending on what mood I'm in when I'm editing this. 
you know what, keep listening to good music. Until next time, I'm Beth, Camelot is good music, goodbye. <laughs>